Welcome back to another edition of Eat My Shorts. I've got a fun story for you. Well, it's not fun for me, but it'll be fun for you. So, after last night and my uh, misadventures, I'm running a little slow today. You know, not bad, but I'm running a little slow. So I'm sitting at the desk after I'd finished all my chores. I was watching my live stream, as I often do on Saturday. Hanging out with uh, some military surplus friends in the UK. And it's interesting to get a different perspective from across the pond about world events. You know, little things in life. And then out of nowhere, there's this unholy fucking screeching. Beep. Seconds. Where the fuck did that come from? I'm looking around. Beep. Now, my mother's heard the unholy fucking screeching. The menace, the scourge that are smoke detectors. Shame on them fucking things. So, I can't get on a ladder, right? Because my neck and back are fucked up. It's just the way it is. I can't do it. I just can't do it anymore. I'm too shaky. I can't look up very high and move my neck a certain way. Like, it just fucks with me. Okay? So, that's out. Well, then my mother and my crazy-ass aunt proceed to get on the phone and have an hour-long fucking discussion about fixing the goddamn smoke detector while I'm trying to sit there and enjoy my damn live stream. Well, that's not bad enough. Then pretty soon I hear bang, bang, bang on my fucking door. It's like, who's this? <laughs> Next thing you know, my manga white aunt shows up. That's fine. Okay, smoke detector's there. You and the other woman figure out what you want to do with it. I just let it beep and plug my ears. It's fine. Oh, then they proceed to take this one down, put a battery in it, the battery wasn't good, and then they got it put back up, then it started beeping, and then they had to take it back down again, put another battery in it. This time it stopped beeping with a good battery. But it wasn't that smoke detector. So, she then proceeds to try and go in my bathroom, which if you know anything about me, my bathroom is my fucking safe place. You don't go in there. Okay, I keep my AR-15 in there, and sometimes we have cocktails. Yeah, I'm an interesting person that way. That's my area. That, that's my no-go area. That's always been my personal fucking zone. You don't go in my bathroom. Now, this is a fucking rule that has been set in stone since I didn't even live at this fucking house, and I lived at my old house. You don't go in my fucking bathroom. <clears throat> so... After I politely told her to get the fuck out of my bathroom and never go back in it. Even if I fell over dead on the toilet, do not go in there. Just leave me be. Okay? Goes to my back room. Now, my back room's a little torn up right now. After Dad died, I had to go through and sort a bunch of shit, and then I got sick, and I haven't got it all put away yet, because every time I do get something put away, then my crazy-ass mother wants it back out, so it's kind of a lost cause for me. Okay? So, Mongoloid Ant, up the ladder. Pulling the smoke detector down, fighting with it, trying to get the battery in. Battery won't go in. She's got it backwards. I promptly then instructed her. I said, Aunt, would you please, for me, do me a favor, reach up, grab the smoke detector, twist it. Oh, it's hung, hung up with a wire. What do I do? Grab those two little prongs and pull it and hand me the smoke detector so I can fix it. No, oh, I can't do that. No, 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 no. Fucking like El Cabong, goddamn Baba Louie. That's like, listen... If you're not going to do what I've asked you to do, will you get out of my way? So what are you going to do? So I'm going to blow it off the fucking ceiling with Mr. 9mm. No, you can't. Oh, no. So I agree. That's why I want you to pull it down and pull the wire so I can fix it. Well, after about an hour of back and forth, I'm finally, I'm about ready to unholster Mr. 9mm and blow it off the ceiling. Okay, okay, okay. I'll hand it to you. So... Hand me the smoke detector, promptly removed the fucking battery from the son bitch, and threw it on the kitchen table and said, thank you. Well, after the women had a lengthy discussion about trying to call the fire department to see if they'd come fix the smoke detector in my apartment building, and I promptly informed them that it's not what the fire department does, okay? Then, then, they finally concede defeat, Smoke detector has shut up. After I pulled the carbon monoxide sensor, which was actually the thing beeping off the damn wall, and gave it a lobotomy too. Okay, we have plenty in this house. There, there are unnecessary amount of smoke detectors in this house because I didn't even smoke in the fucking house. 
So after all this is said and done, they're fucking with my live stream, hanging out with Jake Brown, Alice, and somebody else. So having a good discussion about the troubles in the IRA, North Ireland. It was pretty cool to hear it from somebody who actually participated in the fucking troubles, and I was enjoying myself. Then my dumbass aunt kindly gets my attention, which I've got my headphones back on at this point. I just sat down in my fucking chair. I just sat down after being on my feet all damn day. Kindly informed me of how I'm going to spend my food benefits and how I'm going to pay for things, at which I promptly shot her what I can only describe as weaponized stink eye and gave her the only sentence that makes a woman mad in human history, which is no. I told her fucking no and went about my business. The moral of the story is, kids, take your smoke detectors, throw them in the river. That way you never have to endure an unholy beeping followed by the screeching of a senior citizen. And that is all. Right here from the Freedom Stain Dorito Gate, you heard it here, fellas. Smoke detectors are bad. And as always, if you don't like what I have to say, or you're a smoke detector, you can eat my shorts.